we were the Central High Panthers. Uh, I'm a graduate of the 68 class. Two classes before they shut this Central down. They closed the Central down in 1970. And we have so many farm members now. Look at that, I found this one out there in the park lot going around. Yeah. yeah. You drug him on in? Yeah, I drug him on in. How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? I'm all right, I'm all right. How you doing, Roscoe? Hey, man. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Really. Yeah. Honestly. Honestly. Yeah. John, they got what the is you? What is you? Okay, okay. Which one? You, where you at? Where you at? On the end? Right. Yeah, we're, we're right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's y'all. That's right. Yeah. How does it feel, man, to be back? It feels good. Yeah. Feels good, man. I, it's been, it been, I don't think I've ever been back inside of it. Really? It's the first time? First time back. So you don't want to sponsor this? Nah, nah, uh, Mr. Teagle, you'll see him. Okay. You'll see him. I'm, I'm just the cameraman. I'm just recording everything. Yes, sir. But it's really an honor, man. It's really an honor. Thank you. It's really an honor. Thank you. Yeah, you're, you're the cameraman tonight, too? The cameraman, man. Can we get these three? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. Hey, Roscoe, man. Yeah, 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 um, I was in the middle of a meeting with a lot of former students from Central and found out a lot of great things. It was put in my spirit as I was speaking to Mr. Lewis Zachary that we'll do a documentary starting tonight. So what you're seeing right now is be part of a, a documentary that we're doing in regards to Central High School. Um, so tonight we're honoring uh, members of Central High School as well as showcasing the talent uh, that we have at Newton High School. <laughs> and my mama was just looking. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get a little bright. Eh? Uh, you know, you know, you know. Seven to twelve, like I remember that. Like really, really, like it was yesterday. It's good to see people like Coach Goodman here. Good to see Coach Blanche here. I mean, it's just good to understand our past. And so tonight is just a, a way that we can recognize our past. So, Coach Gass, um, thank you for seeing this vision of giving back, but also honoring our past. Coach Prince Gass. Thank you all. Uh, I want to start by thanking everybody for being here. Uh, this is a big deal for our student athletes and, and for our community, so it's cool to see a lot of people come out and support that. Uh, we're going to bounce back and forth all night between our current guys and between stuff that happened here uh, at Central High School. Uh, so we kind of want to celebrate that on both sides. There's six or seven people in the Coweta County Sports Hall of Fame um, that had connections to, coached, or played at Central High School. Uh, I wanted to read that list off, and then we've got a family member of one of those people who is going to step out here and talk if they'd like to, kind of share a story. Um, we've got Henry Selden, who's the head football coach here at Central High School. Jimmy Hill, and we'll talk more about that one in a second. Uh, Madeline Render, which was track on the girls' side. Willie Greenway and Rayford Patterson and Isaac Acock, all with football. And then Clyde Zachary with basketball. Uh, all those people are in the Coweta County Sports Hall of Fame for what they did while they were here, which is exciting. And then if, if Mr. Brad Hill is here, um, if he is, he can come on down and we'll introduce you and, and share that with you. Um, if you'd like to, we'd love to have you share a word with us. <laughs> Brad! Yeah. All right. <laughs> How you doing, man? All right, all right, all right. Good, 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 good. Just that generation of football player to come yeah. along down behind, behind us. Yeah. 
That's it. And that's with it. Steve, look the same. So Steve, Steve played from come from Roof Hill right in the fifth row. But if you can give Mr. Bradley. It's been a long time since I've seen this kind of life here at Central. I had the pleasure of enjoying the last three years of Central High, 68, 69, and 70. But I'm glad to see y'all, you guys. I'm glad to see the gym come back to life. This gym holds a lot of history, a lot of, got a lot of stories. Uh, all the people that were named being part of uh, the Sport Hall of Fame. The list, the list will continue. Uh, it's just a lot of people have been overlooked over the years, uh, just haven't been able to tell their story. But I'm glad and proud to see all the faces in this gym, and I'm happy and I hope the program continues to succeed and anything that we can do or be a part of, I'm here to say, I'm here. interchangeable in all of them. And, and they've helped us so much to grow up as men. It was such an experience, because in our 68 class, we had so many that got scholarships. We had Rayford Patterson, was about one of the first ones that came here that got a D1 scholarship. This fellow right here, the youngest one on the team, he came over here as a freshman and, 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 and got all of us to go on. Everything. He was all everything. Basketball, football, track. Did you play baseball? I played, I played a half a season. Steve Shavers. <laughs> These <laughs> shavers. These shavers. It's a pleasure to meet you. All right. Thank you. And I'm John Barber. What's that? Barber. John, John Barber. Barber. Yeah. So what did you do? I played basketball, one year football, baseball, and, and track. Uh, we're going to jump in with the freshman guys. Each group's going to scrimmage for about eight minutes, kind of get up and down so you guys can get to see them. We've got the freshman first, and then we'll roll into a three-point contest after that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is a little piece of the Drake lineage right here, man. Yeah. Anything to say, brother? Uh, I'm winning three point contest, so I gotta say. We're gonna hold you to that, bro. All right, Willie. All right, Willie. Tell us how CJ. One, two. And one. Little Jordan, okay. Oh yeah. Move, cut back door, Jordan. Cut back door, Jordan. Code D should be a rush, you know. 
That boy going great. Hey, anything y'all want to say to the camera? Anything want y'all say to the camera? Oh no, this is my first game. Anything you want to say to the camera? It's rolling. Uh, my son. Yeah. What's your son? <laughs> What's your son? Right. No, I'm not his son. Mr. Zachary. As, as, as the captain of the team, anything you want to say to you? I'm good, bro. I'm going to let season talk. Okay. You win the dunk contest? Hell no. Nah. Our three-point contest guys can come on out. All right, we're going to go two rounds here. Is Rusan Lee and uh, Darius Zachary. That name sounds familiar. That's grandson there. Also, Mr. Um, Lewis Zachary. Mr. Lewis Zachary, um, come down. So what Mr. Lewis Zachary is going to do, and um, let me see, Lewis Zachary. Watch them all. Don't watch them all for that. Watch them all. Come on down, Mr. Lewis. Watch them all. Come on down. And while, while inviting Walter down, um, because Walter pretty much knows everything about the history of Cadet County, but also while I'm inviting Walter down is that we've been doing a, a challenge. Uh, a jump shot challenge here, Walter Moss and Mr. Lewis Zachary. So you're good. You're good. <laughs> you're good. All right. All right, Walter. <laughs> Don't shoot no air ball, Walter. <laughs> uh oh, air ball number one. Air ball number two. <laughs> no pause. Yeah. Uh, this time we've got CJ Gunnels, a freshman, and Royce Dula, a junior. They're going to shoot 15 shots total, and then we'll have one more round. Y'all start. Representative from Western that wants me to come over and play at, at Western High. 
with David Meadows. His daddy was a state patrol. His daddy, they were like family to us out in the Welcome Georgia area. But I just had got started here and got myself kind of established here. Pressure! shut Central down here in, in the 70s. But after that, it, it, it took an adjustment. But it was pretty good. Right, I remember. Yeah. So what did you feel when they shut it down? Was it like, obviously it hurt when they shut it down. They did, but they made progress in building up school, just like with East Kaida. Now it's, but it's a middle school down there now. Right, 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 right. But when we used to play them. That was the high school? Yeah, it was a high school. Now, but they, they got the other school of him, the East Kai. Mm -hmm. and, and you had Central here, and then you had Noonan High over there. Mm -hmm. So basically, Noonan High could, could feel all of us. When they start distancing it all, then you had the group that went to East Kai and, and the other schools right here, you know, in Kai County. Right. But it, it's a good thing. What was the most challenging thing going over to Noonan High School from Central? I don't think it was too much of a challenge. It oh. might have been for us. Right, for y'all, yeah, for y'all class. Yeah, it might have been for our class because we had such a good program going here. It was, it was a lot of love. And, and, and to be entrusted to go somewhere that you hadn't been and people that you didn't know, that was, that was kind of strange. Now, if I had went to Western, I, I was raised up with you in that neighborhood, right. with the whites, the blacks, and, and I knew just about all of them there. Hello, my buddy. As I remember, he said our school gym was the first black school in Georgia that had glass, black, uh, glass backboards and a balcony. He ran a tight ship. On away games, the boys team had to be dressed in a blazer, dress pants, shoes shined, tie, haircut, and shaved. Y'all hear that one? <laughs> they dressed out in game uniforms at the site we were playing. We traveled like a pro or college team. We were very proud of our building, and we helped keep it cleaned and ready to be shown to the public and visiting teams. I was part of the graduating class of 1969 and still remember the Central High School Panthers that brought many trophies to our school and our graduation services that were also held here in this gym. If you could give Mr. and Mrs. Michael and Lori Clowers one more round of applause for us. Favorite of the dunk contest. There's that. Good guys. 
you hurt your daddy, man. Oh, 
See, you gotta do some salt this time. One million, dog. One million. One million. One million, Zach. One million. You got it. Get right, Zach. Get right. I believe I can fly. You want to dunk contest? Uh, uh, Hell no. Nah. Y'all didn't know you won't know. It's a legend in the building right now, man. man. Saying, man God bless y'all, man. We love these people, man. It's all about noon. The come with the kind forever, baby. Facts. Over LSU, though. Over LSU for right now. <laughs> We play ball here, we play. You play too? Yeah, I played basketball back in the day. Yeah. Okay. Man, when I walked in the door, just brought back so many memories. Miss this place, and I can't believe they got it back up. I'm so happy to be here today, part of this event.